Tell, t now tell the story again about how, how you how you met your husband. How I met my husband. You said he met you. I was on a ball game, not a ball game. Uh, what do you call him? If from the ball. Tennis? No. Oh, football? Football. No. no. Croquet. Huh? Croquet. No, the big ball. Bowling. The big bowling. 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 That's it. You got it right. I no. think I was. I knew what it was, but I couldn't take the name. Yeah. Bowling. I mean, I can't remember the name of things anymore. Am I doing this right? Yeah, you're fine. We just just ignore that. We're just going to talk. Huh? Just ignore that. Yeah. Yeah. I met him, and he wanted to meet me. Who so, were you? Who were you with? Do you know who he was? Somebody My husband. But I mean, who was the first man you were with? Uh, don't ask me who I was before. I can't remember. Oh. I was just in one of the, you know, I met this fellow. Uh -huh. So I... Can I raise that? Oh, uh, I, just, uh, I, just, I just want to get more light on you. Yeah, now you've got to uh, take it down after what he's done. Okay. And what else did I have to say now? I don't know. About how you met him. I did tell him how I met him. Yeah. He came over to you? Yeah, he saw me. Oh. And my brother... He wanted to meet me, so my brother, he, and uh, told me, and then they came over to see me, and I was eating my supper. It was one night after you had to stay a little bit later, you know. And um, so we, I didn't want him to, I told him to stay in the living room till I get done eating. <laughs> <laughs> And so he did. And then, had, you know, if he, if I was introduced, he introduced my son, introduced him. And that way I got to know him. Your son introduced him? My son. You said your son. Oh. My brother. Oh, I right. Oh, I'll get it right. I'll, I'll <laughs> how, how long did you date him? Who, my husband? Yeah, before you married him. Oh, I expect it was probably a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Where were you married? Huh? Where were you married? St. Leo's Church. Oh, really? Sure. Hmm. I was Catholic. Well, what, what, uh, what was your anniversary date? What was what date were you married? Do you know? Ju uh, the first day in the year. What is that? January. January. Yeah, January. January. Really? New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Well, where were, where was your? Um, where were you born in Columbus? Yes. Huh. Where Where did your parents live when you were born? Well, they came over to this from the uh, old country there. Austria. Austria, and then they came here. And they lived up there on, uh, on the Third Street up there, uh -huh. you know. What did your father do for a living? Oh, he worked, he worked for the cars. We part, we, we, he worked for the railroad, didn't he? Yeah, he worked for the railroad. Yeah, she told me he worked for the railroad. He worked there for about 35 years. Hmm. You worked there a long time. How many sisters and brothers did you have? I didn't have, I got two sisters, dad and two brothers, and then a half brother. Three of them. Yeah. When you got married, did you move into this house? Yeah, I was living here. You were? Yeah. Yeah, I was living here. Where, where were your, where were your children born? Well, my children, was born over your house. Oh, on the other side. Yeah. All of them? I guess, I, as far as I know. How about Tom? Tom was in the hospital, that's right. You had Tom in the hospital? Yeah, I had him. He's the only one who was in the hospital. Why'd you have him, why'd you have Tom in the uh, hospital? Well, because he would never take, he was, I mean, he was, had too many, he was, you know, I, he didn't want to take me unless I went in the house. I had a little trouble there the last time, so he uh, he told me he would never take me again unless I went to the hospital. Mm. So, oh, mm. so that's the way it was. Mm. What did what did your husband do? Optometrist? Yeah, he did an optometrist. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, did he have to work long hours? No, not in particular. There wasn't long hours. Mm. You know, the regular time he would go to. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he even started to have a business of his own, but you've got to have lots of money for you can go ahead with that. Yeah. When did when did he first find out that he was sick? Or? Well, 
when he was sick. Yeah, how, did, he, did he know it for a while? Well, he, he would sit around, you know, but I didn't think nothing about that. You know, I didn't think he was right. so sick. He just got tired of it? got to the doctor, then that was another story. Hmm. Yeah. What did the doctor find? Well, he had cancer. Hmm. That's what he had. Cancer. Yes, I did tell me. How old was he? You asked me. Like that. in his 40s? 42. He was 42, I think, when hmm. he died. 42. Hmm. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Did he have to quit work early? No, sir. He worked until the last week. Not the last week. The last. He was off, I think, about a month altogether. No, he, he never missed no time much of anything. Hmm. No, he didn't. Now, he was a man that he... Now, I know that he had, must have had pain before, long before, the, before we noticed it on him. But he would, just was the kind that wouldn't tell you anything, you know, right. like that. I know whether he didn't want to pretend like he didn't have it or what, I don't know. Hmm. He, he didn't Wasn't there, I think my dad said there was a time once when my dad was in the bathroom with him and he saw him. Blood, yeah. And what happened? I never knew it. They saw it and I never knew it. See, now he kept everything away from me. He didn't want to worry me. Yeah. And uh, he kept everything away from me. Hmm. So I didn't know it for about a month before he died. That's the first time I knew that he was hmm. really sick. Did he have to spend a month here at home? Oh yeah, sure. He was in the hospital. No. He wasn't in there all month, but he was, I think, around two months, two weeks, no, two weeks, I guess it was. Did they, did they try surgery? I don't know. I don't, I don't know where they did or not. I can't tell you. I don't know. Did he die at home? I, I forgot that. If I do, I, I forgot it. I can't remember way back there on the yeah. Yeah. He never told me long time ago. He never told me he was in, he had surgery. Huh? He didn't tell me a long time ago he didn't have surgery. Hmm. I don't think he did either. I think he no. he could tell the man was was definitely sick. Did that's what I think. Did he die at home or in the hospital? At home. He died at home, and I was right with him when he died. Hmm. He took care of me. Yes, I was right with him. Hmm. He said he had a. He was a funnel and a hole that egg and I was pray for him. Mm. That's all. Mm. You know, he was at home. Did he have a bad time? No, he never come he never went through any he whatever he had to suffer, he suffered it by to himself. Mm. Did they have any medicine to give him? Oh yeah, we had medicine to give him, sure. Mm. But whatever I can't remember now what kind of medicine it was. I don't remember mm. that. Did he talk much? He never complained much about his by his mm -hmm. body. He never, no, he never did. Mm -hmm. uh, but he knew he, he knew he was going to die. Huh? I think he knew it, and uh, because he, that he knew he wouldn't get well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think he knew it, but he just mm -hmm. didn't want to. Say did you know he was he was going to die? Oh yeah, sure. I was right with him. Mm -hmm. I was right with him mm -hmm. when practically when he died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What happened after that? That was a pretty big shock. That what? I say, what happened after that? Because that was a pretty big shock for your family. What happened? Well, we had to be the best. We was heartbroken. All of the kids and all were all. We were all heartbroken. But what? That's all you can be. You can't do anything else about it. You can't bring him back. Mm -hmm. We could bring him back. I brought him back, but I, you know, once he's that far along, now he suffered that all himself and never said a word about it. Hmm. About Johnny. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he never said it until they went into the hospital. Mm -hmm. You know, I went, the doctor called me and um, told me he wants to see me. So I went out. I told him, I said, I got to go downtown for something. I didn't want to tell him it was well, going for him. So uh, I went downtown, uh, downtown and he told me all about it what condition he was in and everything. There was no chance for him. Mm. And uh, you know how I felt. Mm -hmm. I felt awful bad. I was so when he came back he says, Where on earth have you been? He was watching the babies and where on earth have you been? I said, 
and then to the doctors. He says, well, you don't need no doctor, do you? But I said, you do. <laughs> I don't, but you do. That's what I told him. Was that, the, was that the first time he knew that you knew? Yeah. Hmm. Never let it out to me. Hmm. But he told me how a condition he was in. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know whether he went to the doctors in between time and didn't tell me. He was, I think he was worried about telling me, really. Yeah. It wasn't because he didn't want to tell me. I had to tell He just you. didn't want to, to, to get me. He didn't want to worry you. That's right. That's right. Right. He had the children. She had all those children. Uh -huh. And he never wanted to worry. Never wanted yeah. children. Yeah. But the Lord helped me. Otherwise, I could have never done it. Mm -hmm. No, I could have never done it if the Lord hadn't helped me. Uh-uh. He did. No. Was he conscious until he passed away? Yeah, I think he was pretty well conscious. He didn't do... Well, towards the last, he didn't speak no more. Mm -hmm. But uh, he wasn't... He wasn't clear out like that. Mm -hmm. He was out to a certain extent, yes, mm -hmm. but not, I don't know what he, I, I suppose he knew he was going, but he was so good about it, you know. Mm -hmm. You he told me that he suffered so terrible before he died. Yeah. Now, well, I imagine he did, sure, but he kept it to himself. Yeah. He wasn't the man to complain about anything. No. You never knew when he was sick, he wouldn't tell you. No. Mm -hmm. No, he was. And he hardly ever missed a day's work, you know, until the last month before he died. Uh, last month before he died. Mm -hmm. Of course, he, had, he was in the hospital then. Mm -hmm. And then finally they brought him home, but there was no hope for him. Mm -hmm. So it was just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did they, in those days, they had the, they laid them out in the casket at home, didn't they? Yes, I think he was laid out at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. I think my dad said something about that. He used to do that year. Oh, ago. yes. Now I was so broken up, I was, up, up, I was upstairs. I had to, I, I was, I was sick, I had to go. It's a wonder I got to go to the funeral, but I mm -hmm. did get to go. But I was heartbroken, mm -hmm. you know. And I didn't know what on earth I was going to do with the kids. But and then I asked God to help me. Mm -hmm. Of course, we didn't have luxury. But we had, but we had plenty to eat, but we didn't have luxury. No. Mm -hmm. Until they all got out and worked a little bit. Yes. Yeah. The way they could work a little. How did they, how did they keep money coming in when, with no father? Because you took in laundry, didn't you? Yes, I worked a day and night. I mean, I walked, uh, I worked all day and then I come home at night and worked for other people. Mm. Did washing and ironings at night. That's what I did. How much sleep did you get? I bet not very much. How much what? How much sleep did you get? I didn't have very many hours, no. Because hmm. it was about 11, 10, 11 o'clock before I went up bed and I was up early in the morning again. Hmm. What was your What was your daytime job? Well, laundry at Fort Hayes. I was in... Uh, at Fort Hayes? For, not Fort... No, I moved to Fort Hayes. At the depot? Out at the de depot. Oh. That's where I worked all. Oh. And the other, at first I was, before I got married, I was working, oh, I forget what place I work now. It was the Beggs, Beggs Building. Uh, the Beggs Building? Huh? The Beggs Building. Beggs Building, that's it. How did you know that? I <laughs> See, I forgot all that. That's uh, I'm, I'm surprised Troy knew it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I worked there about, uh, oh, ever since I was about four, 13 or 14 years old, maybe 15, <laughs> until I got married. Yeah. You told me one time while we were driving past the Beggs building, you told me you used to work there as a stenographer. Yeah, that's right. And no, I was I was working, not what you wouldn't call a stenographer, I was working with the stenographer things. Oh. And I had to, you know, get them all, and pick their names, all the people, I knew all their names. I had to, I had to hold their, oh, what you call them, do it. The... I took care of their books that they sold. Oh, bookkeeper? Bookkeeper, what they sold. Yeah. You know, and I had, to, I had to keep track of that. You did the day's receipts. Uh, yeah. That's what I did. Huh. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. I had to add them up. We only had a little... Mm -hmm. you know, didn't have the luxury things that you got nowadays. Yeah. We got a... We had a... You know... What do you call it? And, Adding machine. Adding machines, yes, they had adding machines. Yeah, we had them. Mm -hmm. We had to add all our stuff. 
But we couldn't add, we had to add them on the adding machine. We couldn't add, we couldn't add all them. Mm -hmm. She had this, took care of all the sales that came in. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I was there a long time, you know, until I got married. And the, by the lady there, she, uh, the, the woman that was the boss there, she, you know, she, I told her how I was getting married. Then after you got married and your husband died, you went out to the depot and went to, to work? Yes, where I worked. What did you do out there? Oh, just every old thing. We had them out there. They had like a little office there too. And then we we worked. Um, I said, we worked on, oh dear. How did I do that now? I know I was... Collecting everything up, you know, then pin it, and then writing it, taking it and writing it down. It's the, the things that they have. Supply? Huh? Supply orders? The fly orders. You were doing orders? No, I didn't do order. It's, you know, when they have their, I can't say it. Balance the books? It's, that's more like it. Accounting. They have to balance stuff. Accounting? Yeah, you had to, I had to do that, I had something like that. Mm -hmm. And then, and how, long, how long did you work out there? I don't know. I, I, eight, nine years, I guess. I don't mm -hmm. No, I was working there about 10 or 11 years. Oh. Yeah. How were the kids during all that? Were they pretty good? Responsible? Oh, I... Who took care of Tom during the day? Wasn't he a baby? Who was it living there? Was it Ruth? Um, she sister. watched my babies there for me. I can't. One of the the boys' wives, and I can't remember the name of it either. Uh, no. No. No, she's still living. Oh, really? Yeah. Verna. Verna. Yeah, Verna next door. Right there. She took care of my babies. Oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah. Hmm. And then she took care. Oh. Of think of it until you said Verna. Yeah, because I I was just talking about her. She remembers a whole lot about me, don't you? Yeah, because he told me. How old year did you move in, Mrs. Price? I think it's around close to 50 years. Really? Mm -hmm. Gee whiz. So my dad was a teenager when you moved in. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Did, what did my dad do? Carry papers? My boys also papers. Mm -hmm. They had, they wanted any spending money and when they had to earn it because I didn't, I couldn't give it to them. I didn't have that much. Mm -hmm. No. When did you move on this side? Right after your husband died? Well, not too long. Because mm -hmm. you, you didn't like, well, you didn't like the memories over there. No, I wasn't that I didn't like the memories, but it was. I like this outside here. Oh yeah. It's really a lot brighter. It's yeah. brighter than here. Did, over here and just on your side. Didn't you take care of your mother too? Oh yes, I, I took care of her to a certain extent. She lived here too, huh? Oh yeah, my mother lived here. When did your father die? Before your husband? Yeah. My father died before, uh, before, uh, yeah, he died first. Hmm. Then my mother was left alone. Oh. I don't know how long, it was two or three years she was left alone and then she died. Hmm. Yeah, she's, then they moved down on the, and one of my brother got down on the farm. And my mother had the farm, they, you know. When I moved over here, they were moving on down there, so I took. I wanted to take this place. Oh. So I moved. We moved over here. Oh. From over there. So they got the. They they moved in the farm after they lived here. Yeah. Huh? Did they move on the farm after they lived here? Your mother. Oh and yeah, they lived here for I don't know how many years. Oh. And then they, my my father, he bought that ground and land over there. Mm. He got a nice. He's got a big place. He wanted to start farming. Yeah, he figured that maybe someday he would go, but he didn't. Hmm. Yeah. Well, did Nick work the farm or Joe? Huh? Who worked the farm? It was Joe. Nick, um, Nick? No, no, it was Joe. 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 Nick was the one that lived over there. Oh, I see. He lived over there and I lived over here. Now, were they your brothers or your half-brothers? That was my brother or brother. Mm -hmm. And Art was your half-brother? Yeah, he, he was my father's... Uh, had him. That was his first wife's boy, a oh. man. You mean your father was married twice? Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. He, 
she died in the show here. She mm -hmm. had the, he had the, he wasn't oh, I see. buried by mother then. Oh, I see. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. When, um, what about when they all went, what about the war years, when they all went off to the war? Who, were they all in the war? All the boys? All your yeah, boys? I think so. I think they were all there. Yeah. Yeah. You said, you said John had the worst of it? Huh? John had the worst of it? Yes, he did. He had the worst. Uh, that was just a blessing. That man ever came in along, uh, came, came home. Where was he? He was the last one on the, on the ship or wherever they, wherever they were. The others were all on the bottom. Hmm. They all passed. I always considered that the, God, the Lord took care of him. That's right. That's yes, right. he did. Hmm. And he was so crazy to get in this place. He couldn't wait. He said, I don't know why they come and don't come and get me. I want to get, I want to go to this war. After he was there, he was a little different. Hmm. I don't know. Well, nice. well, was John a prisoner of war? I don't think so. Oh. No, I don't think so. Or did I don't know that. Yeah. No, he was so. never a prisoner. Mm -hmm. He was on the boat. He was on war. Oh, yeah, in the Navy. Navy. He was in the Navy. He wasn't mm -hmm. on the solid side. But he had to go out. They had to go clear out and, uh, you know, pick him, bring him in or whatever he had to do. I don't know. Mm. He, he had to bring the man in or whatever they did, you know. I don't know just how, how, he, how he worked there. Mm. But he was... Oh, they are in the bar. They never talk about it. My son where, never talk about it. Where were you... When you heard that the war had started, you told me the other day that you were at the movie theater. Yes, I was at the down there the show there. Yeah, and uh, that's when they had this. That's when I heard we were going to have war. Oh my! Then you said everybody got up and left. Yeah, well, they were a lot of them went left. Yeah, I don't know where they all went or not, but so mm. I had to go. It was the only recreation I had. We could go up there for 10 cents mm. that afternoon, you know. At the Parsons? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was over there. Mm. That was a nice place at one time. Mm. It was. It was. I used to like to go nice there to a place at one time. Mm. Did, you, did you write to all your boys when they were in the war? Yes, I sure did. But I couldn't do it now. If we had to go to war now, I couldn't do it. <laughs> no, I wrote to every one of them. You did? Oh, yes, I did. I could write good then, but not now. Did you send them candy and cakes and stuff like yes, that? Yes, I sent them cakes. Yeah. And, some, <laughs> and I don't know, uh, some of it, I guess it laid around too long. It wasn't, wasn't good. No. Well, you said can and chicken for them, too. Yeah. Put it in a box. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I sent them there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She liked me how they're doing. She who came me. home from the war first? Do you remember? No, I don't. Were they all married when they went over to the war? They weren't married, were they? It seemed to me like Bill was the first one. Uh, you're... No, they got married up. No, but one, no, 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 I'll take that back. Bill wasn't married when he went to war. No? No. No, he wasn't. Hmm. Well, I guess it's right. I can't remember everything. I hmm. it's too darn much. That's the last time Yeah. I'll tell you. She knows more about it than I do. <laughs> well, she's been living here in the neighborhood. We've been here in the neighborhood all this year, time yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. Well, you lived here long before I did. But yeah. Huh? I said you lived here long before I came. Oh. And you never got together until Yanni went in service. Hmm. Well, see, the boys got, the boy, we got used to it. Tommy running her around the first time. Him and that's how I got to meet her. And, so, uh, I didn't have no time to run down I had to work all the time, day and night. And Bernie, uh, Bernie <laughs> liked I didn't button. have no time to do that. I pictured them in their uniform. Tommy in, the, Tommy in, the, was in his suit. Mm -hmm. And he was in the Navy. And Bernie was in the Marine. Johnny was in the Army. And Haynes wasn't in the Army yet. When, you're, when your kids were little, which one of them gave you the the biggest problem. Oh golly, I don't remember that. <laughs> How would I? Who was it? Who was it you used to tie to the uh, clothesline? 
I keep him in the yard. yard. I, I think I've cried more than one. <laughs> I remember right, I don't know. Why? Because they were running away and I had no time to go get them. I told him I don't want you to go out of the yard and he didn't do it. Well, why so I tied him up. Why did you spank him? Well, I did spank him too, but that didn't amount to a little pinch of little spanking. <laughs> <laughs> you, you told me you had a hard time keeping Tom in the uh, yard. When he was little, he said he always wanted to climb over the fence and get out of the yard. Yeah, they all did that, not only Tom. They all did. Uh -huh. they, as soon as they got really big enough, they tried to climb over the thing. That's <laughs> when I started tying them up. Yep. I didn't, couldn't help it. No, you had to keep I, could, I had my kids, kids to do, not only work to do, I. I then well, finally, did, finally, they stopped. How did you uh, tie, tie them up? Did you tie them up around the neck or around the oh, arm? Oh, no, I threw them all around their Around the arms? arms. Uh, yeah, not around. Well, I wouldn't try them out what, around the neck. What did you tie him to? Oh, the line. Line. The clothesline? The clothesline, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was a character, wasn't I? <laughs> I had the same problem as Johnny. I'm kind of on the fence that I tied him to a parts post. We had back parts and it was kind of high and post there and tied him to that. Mm -hmm. So he's lying. Yeah. That's the only way you could get uh, the whipping that don't get mount to roping. And they, they had a nice little place in the back there where they could play with in water water and fix things around a little, you know. Mm -hmm. Tell tell me about when you were driving down the road and Bill was driving and one of the babies fell out of the car. Yeah, now which baby was it? Let me Tom. Tom? Tom. Tom. <clears throat> Where were you going? Were you coming back from the cemetery? We was coming home from the cemetery, yeah. I had to go to the cemetery for every Sunday, mm -hmm. or, you know, till I got, got settled down, you know. I was sure. And, I was awful heartbroken. And right? Tom fell out of the car? Yeah. He was sitting in the back there, and the door was open, they, and I didn't know it was open. See, I was in the front seat, and they were in the back. Who was driving? I don't know who. Bill? Bill, I imagine it was Bill. I don't know. Well, he was the oldest. Hmm. What happened? How'd you know he fell out? One of the kids says, Mom, this, he fell out. He's back there. I, I, I turned around to say, I said, where's Russell he met? I can't remember now who it was. Tom. And um, he says, uh, oh, he fell out here back here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it. <laughs> Why you want to know it? No, I didn't see what they were. Why was I upset that day? Oh. Was he hurt? He really wasn't hurt. Yeah. Oh, I was, I took him to the hospital. What did he look like when you picked him up? I don't remember all that stuff. I, <laughs> I know I was so worked up, I took him to the hospital and he said he was going to be all right. Mm -hmm. Boy, that was really something. I'm glad it was the days when cars couldn't go very fast. Oh, yeah, that's right. They didn't go fast. But it was all over there. They could have run over him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, could have flying yeah. around. Yeah. Oh, my. Who was, it, who was it the one time you were telling me that locked themselves in the bedroom upstairs so they wouldn't have to go to school? Yeah, I know. It was I Mary, and, Mary and someone else. Was it Mary? Yeah, it was Mary. You told me I once. I can't remember who the other party was. Run them high up. Well, I'm telling these kids were really something that, you know, get a run them high up or down the street. Huh? Mary used to go with them. Uh, you know what? The, uh, the town. It wasn't town. Mary? John, I think it was. John. I think it was. I'm not sure about that. I can't even remember real good. He went out naked one day. Uh, oh. <laughs> he went out the street. <laughs> I, I, think, I don't know where I was, but I was working or whatever, went to church or what I did. I don't know. I don't remember anymore. And <laughs> boy, I got him in there and I gave him a spanking. <laughs> yes, I did go him out naked. Oh, he was stripped naked. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds Playing me around, me. going out, he, you know. That reminds me of a lot of tumors. Well, more after that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Who was it? Who was it? You had to go out in the car. You told me one time she was with her boyfriend, and you had to go out in the car and tell her it was time to come in the house. Rita. Was it? Who was it? Rita. Rita. Did you get mad at her? 
No, I just told her it's time to come in and get to bed. You know, you're supposed to be up this late at night. I was kind of mad. <laughs> Who was she you know, with? These young girls are. You know, all have to stay out minutes as long as they possibly can. That's right. So they Who was she with? Uh, <laughs> who was Who was Rita with? Oh, I couldn't tell you. I didn't know who she was with. Mm -mm. I didn't know that. Didn't they uh, Didn't they smoke at one time and you didn't like it and you taught them a lesson? Oh yeah, they were. Yeah, <laughs> she knows it. I can't remember that, but you guys can remember her. <laughs> yeah, they did. They They always went over to Vernon's house. Mm -hmm. I knew what they were doing over there. They were putting something over on me, you know, but I knew what they were doing. So one day I fooled them. So I got to stick I had a cigarette there and I, when they come in I was sitting in this chair with my legs crossed and smoking. And uh, they came and said, Mom, you can't do that. I said, if what's good for the goose is good for the gander, I said, you do it. Why can't I do it? <laughs> <laughs> Did they stop? Huh? Did they stop smoking then? No, they didn't stop smoking, but then they knew that they wasn't putting anything over them. They thought I didn't know. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Mm. Yeah, I, had to, I had to kind of break them up a little bit. Yeah. Poor I, I can't even, I used to get a lot of things, but I can't remember them all. Yeah. You know. What was, the, what was the neighborhood like when you first lived here as a young girl? It was pretty. Yeah. The houses were all nice. All the houses were nice. What did people do for entertainment before they had their TVs and radios? Go to the show, mm -hmm. or I think, or downtown. <coughs> I didn't have no money to go downtown. I went had, but the only time I went was over here, and I, I let the kids go over every Sunday, <coughs> which was seventy ten, only ten cents a piece. So they had only seventy cents, and that's I couldn't spend them more. I couldn't give them any more. <coughs> you know, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Them days you didn't make much money, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, things was cheaper and all that, but mm -hmm. it, uh, I didn't have much. I think well, what, what, what did I work for? Eight or, eight or ten dollars as well. A okay. week? Yeah. That's what we, we used to work for. Very cheap. That's right. I you, had to, you had to buy all your groceries out of that and everything? I know. It didn't cost you much grocery. Mm -mm. Of course, I had my pension, my little pension coming from my husband, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I, I couldn't take, you know, I couldn't spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And the clothes, I, I had them, I can't, I sewed them up so there was no more place to sew. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the money to buy it. <laughs> I know many times you were sewing socks. Yeah, oh, I can't believe it. I can't mm -hmm. believe I went through all that. Oh, the Lord was really good mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. All the neighbors around here know me. They, they, yeah, they were living good. around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, Vernon. Yeah? Vernon next door. Yeah, Vernon. But, but what's your name? I'm talking about what's your name over there when she lived over here. Martha. 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 Yeah. So she lived over there. Mm. She wasn't mm -hmm. over there when our kids had little. She worked there for about say, well, 17 years in my house. Yeah. I know, but the children was all grown then. Huh? Your children is all grown then and married. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, actually, they come home, was he? No, they, uh, Mrs. Price said you're, by the time Martha moved in, your children were already grown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they were. That's right. Married, too. Yeah, yeah. they were married. Yeah, that's they right. They didn't have nobody home. No. No. Oh, oh boy. Do things, do, does the world look different to you now? Some, does the world look shocking to you now? No. I mean, does it, it's, it's a lot different from when you were a girl. Oh, heavens yes. I had to watch the girls. I didn't, even, I didn't let my girls loose very long. So then they finally got married. Mm -hmm. I got married when she was 18. Mm -hmm. hmm. Who was it that had all the rabbits out in the uh, garage? I don't know. My, my kids, but I couldn't tell you which one. Mm. They were all on over. They were all in there. Not only my kids, the other kids all around here. <laughs> they used to play in the top of the garage. Yeah, yeah, Johnny yeah, used to be on that. Yeah, they used to they play with them all the time. Yeah. Didn't somebody used to make beer too? Yeah. Who Nick? Make beer. You did? Yeah, I make uh, soft. You know, 
things like uh, you could buy it and mix it. Oh. Yes, I did. I you used to make wine too, didn't you? Yeah, I made wine. What'd you make it out of? You had grapes in the back. I know grapes in the back. I thought there was a I thought there was a grapevine back there one time. No, not all. I don't remember. Hmm. Somebody gave it to me. Says that's how I made it. Oh. Some, I don't know who it was who gave me that. I wasn't either. No. I think some of the people that lived over here, not George, but the other ones. I don't even. I can't tell you exactly anymore how about that. Hmm. I don't remember nothing about that. Anymore. I don't remember nothing about having any wine around here. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy wine in those days? You know, like it, I mean, I like to drink a little bit of wine once in a while, mm -hmm. but it's not good for me. You liked beer, didn't you? Yes, did. Well, yes, I did drink beer, and I, um, I did a sprint. I was so darn tired from working. I was tickled to death to have a little beer before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Yeah. I made my sleep good. It tasted good to me. Mm -hmm. but I haven't had any beer for, I couldn't tell you when. Upsets your stomach now. Yeah. No, nope. her also. I wouldn't take nothing. Uh, you yeah. know. Wasn't there? It was ten years since I had, maybe yeah. more than that, since I had had longer than that. Wasn't there a time when there wasn't there a bar nearby and and you almost met an FBI man or something? Oh yes. Well, what was that? Story? Oh boy, I would have a good. I was mad. I kind of liked him, but he uh, he didn't know. I didn't know him from Adam. Well, you were just down there having a beer one night? Yeah, I was down there having a beer one night, and uh, this fellow asked the bartender, he says, I'd like to meet that woman over there. And uh, so he come and told me, and I went there, talked to him, and he was not real nice and called it good. And uh, by golly, <laughs> the kids come home. <laughs> <laughs> Now, he was really working for the same companies and things that I was, mm -hmm. so we had a lot in common, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the kids came, and I kept telling them, go on home, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed like such a nice fellow, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but I couldn't get him because he was... Not when he saw you, tell me. All the oh, oh. kids, he probably... <laughs> but there was two women, uh, women on the next, uh, on the next seat over. Mm -hmm. Well, and they were make, trying to make that fellow for all they all they're worth. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. nice looking fellow and good. It seemed like he was awful good to me. Now mm -hmm. I don't know how he would be anybody else. Mm -hmm. But um, he says, "Them women, they get on my nerves." Sir. He didn't want them. He didn't want them there. And they were trying. He knew they were trying to get him, and he didn't want them. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why he called for me to come and help him. <laughs> but he, didn't, he didn't know you had all those kids, did he? He didn't know you had all those kids, did he? No, oh no. Uh -huh. I wouldn't tell him that first time. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> no. You wanted to catch him first, didn't you? Sure, he was a nice fellow too. I, uh, I, you know. Yeah. Well, what, he, what did he do when he saw all your uh, kids coming in? Oh, he, I don't know what he did. I went home. <laughs> I said, I just got to go. Mm -hmm. You never saw him again? No, I never saw him after that. Oh. Yeah. He was, mm. he was a pretty nice fellow. Mm. I wasn't was I wasn't destined for him. No. No, that's right. I think your life is the Lord gives all who you are to have. That's the way I think, man. That's right. Look how I met my husband. Mm -hmm. He met me and I didn't know him from Adam. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And uh so uh, I met him, he introduced himself. My brother brought him over and introduced him. Because mm -hmm. he, he knew me, he didn't know me, and I didn't know him from Adam either. Mm -hmm. Until I, you know, that's just what I say. I think the Lord does everything. To, He's got everything planned for the time where And I think the reason I, I could never get married again was because I was so busy with work, I had no time to go out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took <laughs> care of my kids. That's what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So I was supposed to never get married again. Never. How many hours a day did you work? Oh, I don't know. You figure it out. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think you come home around around. five, huh? five thirty. I think you come home at five or five thirty at night. Yeah, it was it was pretty.
pretty late. They just yeah, take it out pretty long. Did the uh, kids help you around the uh, house? Oh yeah, they helped me. Yeah, they read her, and then they cooked. Well, uh, after they got bigger, you know. Because okay. see, I was still out working. Oh yeah. Did uh, did your husband have a thick Irish accent? Well, not so very good, but uh, he had his brother come one time. He said, get that off here. He, he didn't believe he should keep up with that Irish stuff over there. He called his brother out and says, come here and come in the Ohio, you know, don't get me in there then. Who was it that came over, Mark? Mark? What was it, which brother came over, Mark or Jim or Frank? Do you remember which brother it was? Oh, I don't think there he had all his... Oh, yeah, yes, now I were a man. Why, oh, what was his name? I don't was remember. It, was uh, it Mark? Mark. He had a brother named Mark. I don't know, then probably that's who it must have been. Yeah, he had Mark and he had Jim. And he had, uh, and Frank never did come over to this country. Frank stayed in Ireland all his life. Is Frank still alive? No, he just died about six years ago. I can't remember too much about it. Did he ever talk about Ireland very much? Who? Your husband, Grandpa. Well, no, just once in a while. He was never one to, he didn't want the people to call him or in some way from being from over there. Oh. Did, did they send letters to you in those days? Oh, yeah, he sent letters to his mother. Mm -hmm. His mother was still better than him when we got married. Mm -hmm. And I wrote letters to her, too. Hmm. But, uh, Wasn't he going to take you to Ireland, he said, one oh, of these? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He said he would be, well, he's going to take me, well, later on to Ireland. Well, he did, he took himself in the grave. Mm. <laughs> well, he, he, but he would have taken me to Ireland. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yes, he sure would have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't he go back once after the, uh, during the war or something? Yeah, he went back on there in the war. Yes, he had to go over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was, mm. that's the way he was. Yeah. When I was over there, I saw the train station that he left from. Did you really? Yeah. They told you, huh? Yeah, I'll have to show you that sometime. I have a picture of it. Have you? Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't believe I was standing right where he had been standing. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh -oh. And I saw the, I saw that I visited the graves of his mother and father, too. Did you really? Mm-hmm. Of course, see, I, I never got over there. I, I never got to see nothing about that. No. Uh, the kids did, though. The yeah. all of them all. Yeah, they all saw that. And uh, your star, you, mm -hmm. well, you saw it, and then your mother and father saw it, mm -hmm. and who else was? Patty and George. Oh yeah, Patty and George. And Mary and Al too. Oh yeah, Mary and Al, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you think you'd like to go over? No. No? No, I'd never make that trip over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not much walking, just a lot of sitting. I know, but I. I couldn't take that trip now. Mm. Not in the condition I'm in. Mm. 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 Nope. I wouldn't try it. Yeah. I'd probably kill myself before I got over there. Oh dear. <laughs> you know, the way it's it's uh, hard to go yeah. over there. Mm -hmm. not, and then there's it's crowded and, and everything mm -hmm. too. Yeah, but on a plane it's pretty fast. Huh? On, on a plane it's pretty fast. How long did it take you to get over? Oh, seven hours. Well, that's a long time. Yeah. A long time for what I had, what I needed for. Yeah. I had a lot of bowel trouble, and I wouldn't. Oh no, I wouldn't. Oh. Yeah. No, I would never make yeah. that trip now. No. Mm, no. no. Now, if I could have gone 20 years ago, mm -hmm. that'd be different. Yeah. But not now. Mm -hmm. you. After he died, did they continue to keep contact with you? Yeah, they were pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Not as much as he did when he was living, but they, they did. Did you have to write and tell them he died? Yeah, I get, uh, yeah, Major, I guess I did. Were his parents still alive when he died? I think so. I don't know, but I think so. I can't remember on the date on the graves. I can't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got that good of mind anymore. If you had anything to do over and change anything in your life, would you? Would you have changed anything? What do you mean change? What should I change? If you could have changed anything in your life, would you change it? No, I couldn't do anything. I I did everything I could, and I don't want to do anything else. Uh -huh. 
So you had a good life? Well, I think I've had about as good a life as I can have. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. You sure had a nice big family. Yeah, a nice family. Well, I had that before he died. Yeah, but I mean all these grandchildren and great-grandchildren now. Oh, my, yes. Wouldn't he be glad to see that? Well, I bet he does see it. He would. Oh, yeah, he, he might see it from in heaven. But if he didn't have it, I ain't going to get there. You're going to be there. <laughs> if, you, if you don't get there, there is no heaven. <laughs> oh, I hope I get there. Oh, yeah. oh I do. Yeah. But you don't get there that easy. No. I say you don't, but I don't know. I think I'll end up right here and yeah. heaven. If you live right, you'll make it. You lived right. Yeah. I tried to. Well, I tried to. I don't know whether it was right or not, but I tried to do the best I could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So very good, good to me when Johnny died. Mm -hmm. Very good to me when when I was sick and yeah. everything like that. Yeah. Are you looking forward to seeing Mary today? No. <laughs> no. I wonder what I want to get married for. No, I said, are you looking forward to seeing Mary? She's My coming, Mary? Yeah, she's coming down here today. Sure. Yeah. Sure I am. Yeah. I like to see my girls. Mm -hmm. I like to see all of them. Sure. How do you feel about going back up? Oh, I want to be in my own house. I know. I, and I like to go in the wintertime. Yeah, I do. I like to go up there in the wintertime. But in the summertime, I like to be here. Yeah. Well, you'll be back in two or three weeks as soon as I get somebody. Mm -hmm. I wish I didn't have to get somebody. Yeah, I know. It takes a long time to find somebody. Yeah, had to do the hard work that you know will be good. Well, you'll have a good time up at, up, up at Mary's oh, house. Oh, oh yeah, I'm having a good time at Mary's house. And the uh, readers. I did today. The readers have all them babies now to take care of. And I can help her a little, you know. Yeah. I can do, wash, uh, do her dishes for her, and I can yeah. and, uh, do a lot of little things. Bake her. Right. No, I don't do no bacon. She bakes it. Yeah. She bakes it. And does she bake? Mm -hmm. She's always baking something. She's there during the day, isn't she? Yeah. Rita's at home during the day, isn't oh, she? Oh, yeah, she's home all the time. So you have some companionship. Oh, yeah. Mm. But she reads a lot. She oh. likes to read. Mm -hmm. She's always a reading. All her spare time is in reading. So I can read that. I don't know how many books she gets. The boy gets these books for in there. And then she brings them home and she reads them. Mm -hmm. I never cared for anything like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I never had time to do it when I was young. So now, now I can't see good and all that stuff. I, I can't, I can't have it now. Mm -hmm. Did you read when you were young? Huh? Did you like to read when you were young? To a certain extent, I did. I didn't over read, and I didn't do like they're doing. Mm -hmm. Probably didn't I didn't have, have no time to do that. How the could I do reading? I can't do a whole yeah. lot of reading. Were you a good student when you were a girl? Huh? Were you a good student when you were a girl? Well, I don't know. I, I wasn't the best student in the world, but I, I was where I passed. Did you go to school at St. Leo's, didn't you? I went to St. Mary's first. Oh. About four, three or four years. And then I came over here. Mm -hmm. That's when we moved over there. Yeah. Were the, were the teachers strict? Yeah, I got in trouble one time a day. I was running away from her for getting me. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what it was now. I did something. I don't know. I did something wrong. Uh oh. And I don't know what it was now anymore. Did you Did you have nuns teaching you? Huh? Did you have nuns teaching you? Oh yeah. All nuns. All nuns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All nuns. Oh, Barney did too. Oh, that's good. Right. Yeah. Did you make good grades in school? Well, I think I, I didn't have the professional, uh, the best ones, but I always had a passing one. Did you ever get spanked while you were in school? No, no. <laughs> Only one time they tried to go after me and I ran right away from it. <laughs> <laughs> one time. That, that's that one time. I don't know what she took me for, what I did. I don't even remember what I did. And she, I don't know, she chased me around. <laughs> she finally got me, but... Did your mother ever spank you for being mean? Who? Your mother, did she ever spank you? I always liked her. Oh. I knew her. She didn't? She got mad at me one time. I don't know what she got mad at me for. What'd she call you? Oh, let's see, I don't know. 
Did they use a lot of German? She, well, she was mostly German, my mother was. But did, did she speak a lot of German at home? Who? Your mother. Yeah, we had to speak a lot of German at home. Mm -hmm. She wasn't, and my father could speak the English, but she couldn't speak it, or couldn't speak it too much. Mm -hmm. No, she was more, she was German, my mother was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so was uh, tell, us, tell us about the night that the three boys were, were chasing you. He didn't think about it. Well, I was out at our church. We had a, you know, thing doing over in the church. And we come home, and I had to walk home. And uh, the other girls, they, they went on their way. So I had to cross, say like from Parsons, maybe, I don't know, maybe by my beard. Well, you know where South High School is, mm -hmm. well, when the, and the street before it, and we live right in the middle of that street. Mm -hmm. So I was coming home that night, and I, when I got to school, I heard these fellas, they went pretty fast. And I thought, uh-oh, there's something going on here, I don't know. And I run as fast as I possibly could, them days I could run. And and the mom got up to the door and had, it, had the key locked, and they were right there. They were trying to get me. That's what they were trying to do. And you got in in time? So when, I, uh, when one of my brothers came home, he said, did you have two fellows tonight? I said, I sure did not have two fellows, but they darn near got me. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have a lot of that in those days? There was a lot of women uh, uh, attacked? Well, I don't know. Not, I can remember. Uh, uh, it wasn't like it is now. No. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what that was, why he was after me for them. Are you sure you weren't chasing them? No, I wasn't chasing them. <laughs> what would I chase him for? <laughs> they I don't sure know what, what they had. <laughs> I said, I'm sure I don't. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy! I wouldn't want them kind of fellows. I wouldn't want to do with fellows like that. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, oh boy! Oh, mother, help me out! <laughs> the Lord took care of me that night. Yeah. Now, I don't mean maybe either, or like guardian angel or whoever it was, somebody. Because I no more got in that house, and I called my brother. He one brother, but the other one was out. And the year he comes in, and tell me I had two fellows. Oh, well, I didn't have to. No. I said, them time fellas, two fellas down there had me. Well, what chance would I have if they had got a hold of me? Mm. Yeah. Well, wouldn't they have had no, no chance, chance at all. At all. Mm -hmm. No, you mm. wouldn't. No, uh, mm. you, uh, no, I wouldn't have no chance. Mm. Oh, the I'm Lord not. took care of me. Mm. Yeah. He's the one, he's the one that watched me. Them two was, I think they're looking for prostrate grand people. That's what they were looking for. Mm. Uh, you know, they did do that years ago. Yeah. Oh, yes, they did. Yes, when they maybe, get over you, boy, you're gone. Maybe they thought you was that kind of woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, sure hope I, didn't look that. I didn't look like that kind of woman. <laughs> no. Whoa. Oh. Brother. Grandma, when you when you were a girl here, uh, did your uh, parents have a horse and buggy, or they had cars in those days? They didn't have nothing. No? The cars and buggies, but not the things. Was your husband the first to have a car? He didn't have a car right away. Oh, well, whose car is that in those pictures where they're sitting on the running board? Well, he got them later on. Oh, that's what I mean. He got them later, but he wasn't that, he didn't have it when he first got married. Oh, no. 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 Mm. Did you ever drive? Well, I got to where I could drive pretty good, and then I just didn't go through with it when I had to, after he died. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't. Because the kids I had to watch and all, I couldn't take it. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't make it at all. Mm -hmm. See, I couldn't, I'd have to take my kids with me and I couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I didn't get to be a driver. And in the first place, I didn't have the money to buy any. Mm -hmm. We had a car when he died. Uh, our, or my brother, <coughs> our stepbrother got that. Just <laughs> Did you keep it? No, I, I gave it, I sold it. Oh. Because I couldn't keep it up. I couldn't keep it up. How could I do it? Didn't you move to the farm for a while? 
Yeah, I moved down there for a couple of months. Of a week. I don't know, it wasn't very long. Didn't work out, huh? I didn't like it down there. Mm. Did you feel you were too far away? Well, I didn't have no way of going, and I had to wait until somebody took me. Oh. I think Bill was just a young fellow. He, he, he drove right away, mm -hmm. you know, when we had it, but I, mm -hmm. I had to get rid of it. Well, if you didn't have a car, how did you get get to uh, work and things like that? Well, on the bus. Oh. I streetcar. I think that guy was on the bus. You no, a streetcar. Huh? We had a streetcar then. Yeah. Streetcar. Yeah. How much did it cost you to ride the streetcar? I think you got five for a quarter. Oh. I think it was a nickel. A oh. nickel? I only paid a nickel. Well, no, I was I a longer viewer. I think it was more than that. I think I got either eight, eight, five or eight of them, if I remember right. I can't remember. Well, they day. never had no tickets then. We had to put down the money to the conductor. I had to bring it on here. Hmm. I lived on South Wood Avenue. Hmm. We had streetcar. Hmm. I had no time to be out. I had to work over it, you know. Tell us to tell us about this house. Who built it and everything? I can't remember who built it. Well, your, did, didn't your father have this house built? Well, no, he didn't have them built. They were building it. Oh. And he didn't have them built. It. No. Oh. It was the last house that was built in this square. And I'm the one that got ready to do it. You know, to buy. I said it was a pretty nice house. It was brand new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seemed like I thought that I was rich or was almost when I was a young girl then. Yeah. You know? How much did he pay for it? Uh, I think he paid um, 40, let's see, 40, 44 dollars. Not 44 dollars. 4400 Yeah. That was cheap. That's about what it was. Same mother and dear. In them days, you could buy them for a thousand dollars a house. That's right. Yeah. That's right. When I had ours. And rent wasn't so dear either then. Rent wasn't so dear then either. No. When the house was brand new, did you live on that side? No. Uh, no, I lived on this side. And then, oh. when, and then when we got, we rented that side. Oh, but it, you didn't rent it to any family member. When I got you? married, then I took that side. Oh. Did you rent to family over there, or did you rent to just people? Average people. Oh, oh, our family, our own family was there. Oh. Nick. And, oh, I see. Uh, the Nick. ones that were you can older than I am. Oh. Was. was Nick married at that time? I don't, he was married, yeah, I'm sure. He, was, he got married one time. Oh. Yeah. Nick Vernon and Sad the son. Yeah. He was child Yeah, he was Arkansas. killed in the war. Really something. Well, you keep the house up good. Huh? Yeah. You keep the house up good. Yeah, yeah, I do. They always did. Yeah. That's what I have to save my money for. Yeah. In case something goes wrong. Yeah, if your mother and father could see it today, they'd be proud of you. Yeah, they would. They sure would.